what's up? Let's play some backgammon. Woke up pretty early this morning, ready to get going. Um, so I guess I'll just not banter around and just pause till we get a game. So here we go, we're playing against Aldis, who is a uh, 1802. And I played my, uh, my last game, my last video I did, I played against an 1800. I think this is the right one. I know that the four is the kill. I think that's got to be right. It looks fine. Um, ooh, and he fans. Is it a cube? We're going for it in a match to three. We're going to make the play. We didn't need passes. So I think the computer may show that that might actually have been a blunder, but um, my cube might have been a blunder, but given that he's passing, I think it's definitely good against this player. Although, granted, I didn't know that at the time, so I can't really take credit for it. I think I want to play two down here. I think. I'm going to play, actually, this play. Just because he doesn't have killers here. He's going to kill with a three or a one, but I'm still fine. Five four is not a kill. Oh, 5-4 is a killer. Right here. Oh, alright. Well, that's a that's the nut roll for us. Or I guess 5-5 five, five is the nut roll for us. And he's going to make an advanced anchor, too. Very straightforward position. 3, and that's a good-looking deuce. Does he reach? He doesn't reach. Plays to safety, or what? Yeah. Very boring, very straightforward. Mm hmm. Or is it this? Which to play? God, this one's just ugly, so let's play this. He doesn't have a threatening home board. We're okay. That might be bad, but all right. does he kill? Does he kill? I think he. Oh, he does. And he gets summarily punished. Show me 6 6. Oh, close. Very close indeed. And punished again. And a killer again. Am I doubling? He's shown weakness on the pass, so this is a player. He showed weakness earlier. Oh, and he took, and he's going to recube. Oh wow! It should be an automatic recube, of course, because um, we're only playing a match to three, and it is already. What am I trying to say? It's already match point for me. And he might as well make a match point for himself. Sorry, let me... Is that the obvious move? Is that... Or is this 6-3 better? Which is best? I'm going to play that one. Might have been bad. Here comes the recube. Okay, we'll take... So a turn late on that, but he, he eventually realized. Maybe he heard me. So a lot more flexibility now. Oh, wow. And of course, of course, just the ultimate punish. Oh, but he does have two blots, so that changes things. We can feel okay, since he has two blots. We're feeling good in this spot. Hopefully we just win a nice quick race here. Ugh, what a tester. Ugh, I of course want to be... This looks so enticing. But if he rolls a deuce, suddenly deuce six, deuce one are all very good, but I guess that's not that often, so this is probably the better idea. This is probably the better idea, because those aren't that frequent, and this gives me so much long-term flexibility.
So maybe this will be one if I can just get in here safely. And again, I'm always... I'm not legitimately concerned about jinxing it, but I always feel like I deserve it when I start talking prematurely about what to do after I win. <laughs> um, I don't... Uh, so let's see. I do have bad rolls. No, I don't, because these guys have freedom and these guys have freedom. And now we're all about just consolidating, and hopefully we can just bring it on down to Omeletteville pretty quickly here. This is the kind of role I was concerned about, but I mean, I do have ideas, so I do have, and that, oh, he can run, my mistake. I was thinking that was really poor, like double threes is just the nut low for him. So that's got to be the six, that's got to be the deuce. We're getting near the danger. Wow. He's very fast. He's not running. Don't don't get your hopes up, Stoney. Okay. I mean, this seems good. But where are the other two right here? Or is it just safety, safety? But then we leave him. I mean, six six isn't that big of a concern. Let's do this. That might have been bad, but that might be the ultimate move. Who knows? Oh, now we're now we gotta fade likely some sixes. No six. All right. Looking good. Looking quite good. Oh, come on. Homie, don't dean me like that. So he must roll a three this way. He has no sums because ace deuce is blocked, ace ace is blocked. He must roll a three. And if he does, he will win. And if he does not, he will likely lose. So he gone. No point about gammoning. Let's just get it. This is all about safety here, folks. Safety is the name of the game. He's in. Safety. If we leave him a shot, he's likely going to still have a closed home board. So I'll, if we could just bear in safely. Like doubles here is just end of game. Oh, he's gone. Where's he going? Why would he do that? He's down a million in the race. What's he doing? This is forfeiting. He just forfeited, I guarantee. I mean, that's the blunder of the match. Um, I'll do respect to that guy. Running there is just forfeiting. So yeah, we'll watch this finish out, and then we'll have time to go over some of the moves on Extreme Gammon. And there you have it. So I'll pause, and we'll... Uh, he says something. Pull it up. He says it. He's, he's French, apparently. Um, so let's go over this game on Extreme Gammon. Another... I'm surprised that guy's an 1800 by running. I'll, again, hopefully he's not like seeing this and thinking I'm an asshole. Uh, that just seems really straightforward to me. So, sorry about that, that guy, if you're listening. Uh, we'll go over it right now. All right, so let's go through the game. And as you can see, I actually played very, very poorly here, a 15.16, uh, and he got a world-class rating. Despite, um, I thought it was some questionable cube play. And first of all, uh, the first thing, we only have six minutes to do this, so uh, opening reply error, we want to be learning all the opening replies, so just running is bad, this is actually on him, this is the better idea, <laughs> just the standard 6-2 play, uh, the game progressed, I killed, and then he fanned on a two point board, um, and my double was actually really bad, 100 points bad, but given that he passed, and we talked about this in the video, uh, that's a double I would make every time, even knowing that it's bad, just because he's passing. Uh, of course, we want to... It's definitely good. It's uh, plus 150 points when he's passing. So we move on to the ultimate game. Um, straightforward stuff. I was wondering about this response, and it was actually best. My other idea was that, and that is, you know, uh, 42 points worse. So this was the right idea there. 
And then this should have been a double on his end, actually. Um, but he did not do it. It's supposed to be a double and a take in this position. Uh, probably because it's such a short match, but maybe in general. Who knows? Um, let's just let's keep this kind of tight. There was one thing I was wondering. Oh, this is something I was wondering about. The 6-3 play to safety. Um, and it looks like the better idea is down and kill. Although it's very, it's only, you know, nine thousandths of a point better. Um, so I think this move makes a lot of sense. This is probably the move I play, unless it's like a gam and go scenario. In which case, I think this is definitely much better. And then I blundered here. And I thought, I, I thought this might have been the right idea thinking that because of these colors, but I guess it's just so, it's, it's really bad. Um, it's almost, it's 90 points bad to do this instead. Just play the six out and play the four to safety because the four is blocked here. If I had been able to run, I would have just run. And this is the closest thing to running. This point's just, just too valuable and you are in jeopardy when you play this move. Uh, so yeah. Uh, we had a bad double by me. What else is new? Where I felt like, oh wow, I was not even up that much in the pip count. Um, always check the pips. This was the position where I doubled. And he took. Uh, and it is a terrible, terrible, terrible double. Like, just beyond awful. Look at this. No double was win I'm winning plus 2.66 and with a double and a take I'm losing 2.433 half a point or 500 points difference that's obviously a tremendous blunder um, automatic redouble down here these deuces I wasn't sure what to do um, I play I chose the second best move it was slightly worse than this this was the other idea, idea I was considering because he has these two blots here uh, in his home board is why we can exploit those and make the more valuable point uh, so that that was in fact the better idea. This four one, I thought making the bar was close, um, but it turns out a slightly better idea is actually playing to safety. It's not that big of a difference because um, this is a super valuable point, and it's not like his home board is the end of the world because we can get out and run, and he can't close it off until he gets some of these guys around. Um, but yeah, this was. Slightly better than actually making the bar. And let's see what else. Oh, this one. This one I just wasn't... I, I have no legal six, and I only have a five to play. And of course, in this scenario, this is the five to be playing. Um, for some reason, I thought I had to leave a shot here. This is definitely just distracted play. Um... But nevertheless, we didn't get punished. Of course, leaving him the direct shot here. When you play this move, he's got the 11, more than that, combinations. He has 5, 1, and 4 deuce as well. Uh, so that's 4 more. So he's got 15 out of 36 shot. Oh, and double threes are good. Um, so 16 out of 36 shot at hitting. And then that's just the end of the game, the end of the match even. So that was bad. And then one last thing is this, the 5-4. Oh, yeah, I berated this big time. The better idea was, of course, staying back. Um, but it's very, very much, it, it makes so little difference. But, I mean, he's down f over 40 pips in the race. Come on. Um, where at least you have some theoretical chance when you play this move versus when you just run, it's you're resigning. So, as, I mean, as you can see, this is, I mean, it's minus, you have eight shots in a thousand to win, whereas here you have 35 shots in a thousand to win. So that, it scenario-wise, that is a lot better chance uh, to lead this guy back and hope I roll, you know, 6-5 and then 5-1 or 6-1 or 4-1. So there you go. All right, thanks for checking it out. Uh, I'm hopefully going to do some more videos later today. All right, peace.